I'm an American Indian. I grew up on the Tonawanda Seneca Indian Reservation. Um, we were very poor, um, at one time extremely poor, but with family around, uh, all that I knew, uh, we didn't really know that we were that poor because other people were poor as well. A rural um, area with uh, relatives within a mile or two and you, know, you walked uh, there, but it was, a, it was a wonderful place to grow up, wonderful place to explore, wonderful place to learn a number of good principles of life. We learned a lot of independence uh, at a fairly young age. and um, You got picked on by older kids, you, you took your lumps, you grew from that. Later on, in more teenage years, I had uh, fascination with rockets and explosives. I did some things I shouldn't have done, but I got a hold of uh, materials for rockets and explosives and um, learned a lot on my own. In those days, the uh, matches, there were the blue tip matches, and the little tip on the end was, uh, you know, would really flare up. So I had an old film canister that I poked a hole in, and I filled it with the tips of those matches with this uh, oxidizing agent. Uh, this really was an explosive, very dangerous. I, I wouldn't recommend it to an adult to do. Um, I had a very short fuse um, and out in the lawn I lit it and stepped back and like I said, I'm lucky to have all of my parts. My high school uh, was actually a pretty good experience. I, I learned a lot in high school even though I didn't do well in, in some of the reading courses. In fact, in my home life, uh, we really didn't have books in the home. Reading just wasn't something that was done. We didn't get a newspaper. I learned what I learned in, either in class or in the study halls in, in school. Um, so I didn't have any study habits. And that really came to haunt me big time in college because I had absolutely no study skills. I went to college for the wrong reasons. I went to play football and babes and cars and stuff like that. I remember taking the calculus class, which I was just bored. This person was up there babbling, and, and the first test I got an A. I didn't even know what she said, but I got an A. Uh, second test I got a B, and then all of a sudden, I didn't know what was going on. And I didn't know how to go back and figure it out, so I got a D. I took the next course <laughs> and got another D. Um, and so I, you know, I didn't have that kind of um, uh, adult supervision in, in college, and um, almost I almost didn't make it through. My senior year, I told you I'd gone to play football, I, I got hurt in the uh, practice before uh, school opened. I'd gotten hurt and I had surgery, and so I missed registration. And uh, so being late, I got this course in comparative plant anatomy. <sighs> comparative, um, the last thing I would ever want to take. Uh, as luck would have it, uh, the creator does things in wonderful ways. Uh, this professor was a friend of the football coach. The football coach was the famous Buddy Ryan, um, you might know from his professional career. And um, this professor knew Buddy Ryan and I came in on crutches and he asked me and I said football injury and um, a biology student playing football, he asked Buddy Ryan and he told him yes. Well, so now for the first time in undergraduate, I had a professor come in, knew my name, look at me every time. Well, you know, I couldn't fall asleep. In fact, I couldn't sit in the back row. This guy knew me, the coach, you know, knew. So I was sitting there just learning comparative plant anatomy. I got an A. Um, I took another course from him and I got another A. Uh, you know, paying attention actually works. <laughs> but having, having a professor uh, just notice you, notice me in, in this case, uh, made a difference. I, I, I went from being essentially a non-student to, to a student and that's, that was the real turning point. I was interested in being a high school teacher and a football coach so um, I went on to get a master's degree. Since I'd been a poor student as an undergrad, had no financial assistance, had to do this on my own. I still didn't have good study habits but uh, but it turned around. And then I found that I enjoyed um, teaching and I enjoyed research. Um, I really get excited about discovering things. There's a joy of discovery, which I found, and it's, and it's addictive. When you can think thoughts that no one else has thought, when you can see things that they may have looked at and looked at and then see it in a different way, it just tickles my innards.
Something that wasn't on my resume uh, was that I knew how to work. Um, uh, I've worked since I was 14, any, any available times. Uh, as an undergrad, uh, during the summers, I worked uh, a day job and a night job. Um, and that just got to be normal. Um, I, I worked in restaurants, I worked in a steel mill. And one of the things that you learn when you're working and contracting is that if you don't work, you don't get paid. You do better work, people um, um, want to hire you again. I learned some real values of blue collar work. During my academic career, of course, I was interested in developmental biology, how, how cells differentiate, what the controls and the signals. Um, and I still have a, an interest and a curiosity. Uh, but now, a little bit later in my career, I'm interested in motivation. I'm interested in really understanding uh, what influences people to make the kinds of choices that they, that they make, uh, the kinds of skills, um, how to engender uh, creativity. Uh, how, to, uh, how to understand and um, recognize creativity. I want to believe that you can help students develop new skills, new abilities, but in fact, we need to understand it. That's not just a given. So I, I have great interest in understanding the process of development of, of a young scientist. I no longer have a research lab. I'm an administrator by my day job. Uh, my new lab is my workshop. And when I go out in, in the shop, um, I've uh, developed uh, another skill working with, with a lathe. Um, it replaces uh, working with an electron microscope or, or other kinds of, of equipment. But it's, a, it's an outlet for creativity. Uh, it, it's an outlet to, to do something. I also enjoy teaching it. Just as I enjoy teaching science, I, I teach um, um, woodwork as well. I'm an American Indian, grew up on a reservation. I would say that part of my family uh, upbringing, uh, my culture, uh, had to do with independence. Independent thinking, um, uh, really taking you know, uh, matters into your own hands. And, uh, and so part of that is, is like a warrior out on discovery. I mean, you, you, you go out and you're uh, on your own on, on a hunt. Uh, you're on your own to, to, to learn, appreciating nature and also having the whole world out there uh, kind of a mystery. That was a, a wonderful lesson. It was a wonderful lesson.